Hi everybody, this is Flat Cap Cafe Racer. I'm out in my shop here. Uh, starting to get better, feeling better from our, our trip. And uh, I got, uh, when I got back, a couple days after I got back, I got a package from uh, Peter from Meerkat uh, Exhaust. I had requested, uh, a couple months ago, I requested a, uh, to make another set of exhaust pipes. Pete, as some of you know already, Peter made some racing megaphones for me. I used out of Bonneville and I've used out the drag strip to great success. Uh, they're a little loud for uh, street usage. So I wanted an another set of uh, pipes and I wanted a Norton style. Unfortunately, he didn't, nobody m makes those for this particular the water cooled Thruxtons. So he agreed and he knocked me up a, a pair and uh, I'm going to show you what those look like. Meerkat. As some of you know already, I have a pair of Meerkat megaphone exhaust on here. And I'd asked Peter if he'd make me a, a, kind of a Norton style. And but a little bit quieter than these. Uh, isn't that lovely? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these on. I'm going to start the bike and record what the bike sounds like with the uh, megaphones on. Then I'll put, uh, I may just put one of these on and leave one of the megaphones on and see if I can see the difference. Then we'll run with both the megaphones, I mean both of these Norton style exhaust. Let's look and see how it compares to the megaphones are already on there. Just a just a refresher what the megaphones sound like. Get bothered to get the uh, stock out, but this the top one's the Vance and Hines. Uh, the middle one is the Meerkat that I've used for racing, and the bottom one is the the Pier Shooter. It's definitely heavier the new pea shooter is definitely heavier than the racing exhaust uh, I'd say it's still lighter than the the uh, Vance and Heinz which is probably lighter than stock I don't I'm not getting the stock one out you think they look good to me they sound pretty good we'll have to take them out for a ride they look really good sitting on the bike they got a good angle to them I still have room to use my bags that I had before still got room for clear for the axle fit uh, fit and finish of these things are beautiful and uh, Peter as always did a, a lovely job on, on this on these pipes let's go take a look at the other side Okay, and I'll get a couple still pictures of it out in the driveway. The bags kind of hide it, but uh, I use the bags quite a bit, so I'm going to leave them on there. The Thruxton, now the Thruxton R is the only bike that I've really got different exhaust on it. So, now with the Thruxton R, I have several different exhausts. All the other bikes I don't. I have the stock exhaust, I have the Vance and Hines, which sound good, pretty good, but they just don't have the look that I like. A little too short for me. Uh, then I've got those racing megaphones, and um, then I've got these now. And I think these sounds pretty sound pretty good from the idle um, 
I'm not too much worried about the performance I might lose at the top end. I think I probably are going to keep or beat what I had at the mid-range. So, we'll see what these sound like and tell me what you think about them. If you decide you like these kind of exhausts, I think Peter's made up another set. And uh, if you call him, ask him for those Flat Cap Cafe Racer Specials. Uh, Peter was very kind. Uh, you might have noticed that he did not emboss the Meerkat logo on there like he usually does because he didn't want to ruin the lines of the bike, uh, of the pipe. So I appreciate it, Peter. And, uh, and you do a great, great job. So thanks a lot. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.